Hello and uh, welcome everybody to CVT Simplified YouTube channel. So today we are going to discuss about uh, Cluster Innovation Center complete admission process, cutoff, guidance and whatever you need to get it to CIC DU. So first of all, let's discuss what is CIC. So CIC is actually Delhi University is one of the colleges which provides B.Tech degree in Information Technology and uh, Mathematical Innovation which is at par the industry experience and level. So it is one of the colleges and the only college under DU that provides the degree of B.Tech. And it provides degree of B.Tech uh, admission through CUET only. So you can actually get this college via the help of CUET. And the subjects that are accepted in these are general test, mathematics and English as a language subject. Now, what is the speciality of uh, CICDU? So it is actually based on the very high, highly competitive North Campus of Delhi University, which all of you know, because North Campus of Delhi University is actually known for its highly competitive nature. And it has a very affordable fees of 10,000 rupees per year plus 1,000 rupees of library fees. So it is extremely affordable. And it has an experienced faculty and seniors who had already cracked GSOC. GSOC stands for Google Summer of Code, which is actually a very high level competitive uh, programming uh, pro uh, that is being organized by uh, Google every year to promote the uh, level of programming in every country. So actually there are many students in uh, CICDU which have, which have actually cracked this uh, competition so you can actually get help from those experience now let's talk about the cutoff of du for this year so actually these are the normalized scores so you can uh, add uh, you can actually add all of your uh, scores from general test mathematics and english as a language subject which is of total 700 so if you are a general candidate then 600 plus score can be a good score considering that uh, there will be some drifting also because of the josa counseling which is happening uh, for je so students from JOSA uh, which, uh, who take admission in CICDU generally leave their seats. So there will be a lot of left seats. So you can actually wait till the last round to get admission in CICDU. For OBC, it, will, it is 560 plus. For SC, it is 500 plus. And for SC, it is 480 plus. And EWS is 590 plus. It is out of 700. And then remember that this is a generalized score. So if you will wait till the last round, then you can expect that you can get admission in CICDU. Now let's talk about uh, where will counseling start. So counseling is actually scheduled to start either between Tuesday to Thursday, that is 20 to 22 September. Uh, forms will be live and uh, you can start filling up the forms. And after filling up the form, CIC will, uh, CIC DU will release a list of students which will contain the number of students who have filled the form. And on the basis of that, it will take the top 50 students because there, are, there is only 50 student uh, seat that is in CIC DU out of which 27% is reserved for OBC and uh, others are reserved for SC and ST category students. Now, what will be the seat acceptance fee? So, seat uh, expect, uh, acceptance fees for uh, CICDU is 5,000 rupees plus 1,000 rupees as library fees for the first semester. And for the second semester, it is 5,000 rupees. But for the seat acceptance, you have to give only 6,000 rupees if you want to accept the fees of CIC. And remember that submit this fees of 6,000 rupees as soon as you get the fees because in CIC what happens, they close the uh, submission window very soon because they have to wrap up the uh, total admission process within two to three days. So they generally close this uh, window very soon. So you have to submit the 6,000 rupees fees as soon as you try to get a seat in CICDU. So how is the study environment? This is a very uh, important topic that many students have asked many times. And the study environment is excellent according to the sum of the seniors that I, uh, we have talked. Uh, uh, they also get uh, continuous exposure to seminars of IIT Delhi and IIT Delhi wherever required with the help of professors because professors are very uh, uh, very high level and intellectual and they have a lot of connections in these uh, high institutes like IIT and IIT Delhi. And seniors of CIC are very talented as they have cleared the Google Summer of Code. As you all know, this is a very high competitive uh, uh, programming uh, hackathon type of, of a scenario where many of the programmers get to work in the open source programs. So many of the CIC seniors have actually cracked this uh, GSOC, Google Summer of Code and they, are, they can actually help their juniors on how to crack these competitions. Academics is uh, generally filled with a lot of assignments because this is generally the case with CIC. There will be a lot of assignments for you. Attendance rules, is, uh, rules are very strict. According to seniors, as they have told, uh, attendance rules in CICDU are very strict. Now, what are some of the cons of CICDU? So the major con of CICDU is that it has no hostel facility available. So you have to live in hostels, private hostels and PGs that is paying guests. And the cost is 8,000 rupees to 15,000 rupees depending upon number of roommates. So if number of roommates are 3, then it generally ranges from 8,000 to 10,000. If number of roommates are 2 or 1, then it ranges from 14 to 15,000 per month, including the mesh charges and uh, laundry charges. And CIC has no on-campus placement cell, but it has an excellent off-campus record. This I had already explained. 
and CIC has no separate grounds or auditorium. So it is actually dependent on other colleges of DU for all the cultural activities. And uh, as CIC accepts only 50 students for PTEC, so it has very less number of students. So you will not get too much uh, of crowd if you expect too much of crowd in any university, then it will not be a case in CIC DU. But uh, as it is based in North Campus, so you will not regret it. Now, should you take the admission in CIC or not? So a very good, it is actually a very good option in place of lower NITs or lower IITs, which are very high and costly. So it is a very good option if you are getting, uh, uh, let's say, biotechnology from lower NITs or lower IITs, which have a less scope. So you can actually take CICDU as an option uh, because it is a very good option in COET. And uh, in fact, it is the best BTEC institute among all the central universities. And uh, uh, it has a very excellent uh, environment, which makes it even better. And Delhi University itself is a very big brand. So you can actually trust upon CICDU, especially if you work hard here, then you will surely get in a very high position. So thanks for watching the video, kindly join the telegram group for one of one to one doubts and like, share or subs and subscribe our channel. Have a nice day. Thank you. Losing time, I'm fading fast. I just want to make it last. Try to let go of the past. I close my eyes, embrace the blast. Sleepless nights and headaches stack. Restlessness to hell and back. What's my purpose?